G'day guys, Damo here, and welcome to another Round the Fire video. To all the subscribers, welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, g'day. So what we're going to do in this video is a, uh, a little bit of an interest piece. I've had uh, a fair few guys write in and, and ask what I pack on a trip, so um, yeah, we'll try and work through that today. So I'm packing for a uh, four day trip, I'm going to meet a couple of guys out in uh, central Queensland. I'm going by myself, so it's fairly easy, easy packing. So what I'll do is I'll start from the start. I'll get up here first. <coughs> so generally, the the things that I will always take, and that's why they're mounted on the roof rack, is a shovel, a set of recovery tracks, and a high lift jack. Now. Some people are for and against a, a high lift jack, but as a kid going out four wheel driving, if the only thing we ever had was a high lift jack, we, we felt invincible. So um, that's something that stuck with me today. And I generally take it everywhere. So the next items that I, that I throw in, um, recovery kit, and that just contains tree trunk protectors, a snatch strap, some shackles, pair of gloves, uh, all the basic stuff. I don't have a winch mounted yet, so I still have to rely on, if I need it, someone else to get me out. I'll carry a tool kit, and that keeps all your basic tools in there, spanners, screwdrivers, uh, sockets, anything to change a tire or do anything sort of fiddly, fuses in there, zip ties, all the sort of um, basic stuff that that I think is necessary to, to come along. And on top of that, tent pegs. Can never have too many tent pegs. So what I do to keep all that uh, nice, neat and tidy is I just stack it all into a milk crate. And that just slides up the front there. So next I'll throw in uh, just a bit of water. Now, I just use bottled water. Stacks neatly into a um, a milk crate. You know, people say, "What do you do with the rubbish?" Well, I mean, the the bottled water crushes down nice and neat, and you never run the risk. If you're using individual bottles of water, these are uh, 600 ml bottles of water. You never run the risk of contaminating your entire source of uh, of drinking water if you're using bottles. So that's why I sort of steer clear from a, uh, a water tank to drink with. And for planning purposes, I sort of work on two litres of water per day per person. Um, so which is about three of these bottles uh, per person. And they're fairly cheap to buy from the store. I get whatever's, whatever's cheapest. That's no real big deal to me. Water's water. water. And so, I mean, you can see it stacks fairly neat you can see how much you've got how much you got left and yeah so three bottles a day I've got a little bit extra in here can never have it hurt to um, have a bit extra water too while you're out there so I use that for drinking and cooking mainly that's it so that also just goes tucks in look at that all right take another crate of course and this one just keeps uh, just got a little stove in here. I've got uh, a jet boil for boiling water. I take me saw. I don't use a chainsaw. I use a reciprocating saw or a demolition saw. Depends what you want to call it. Um, a couple of spare gas canisters for for the stove and uh, and a lot. So the stove I generally take out when it's just uh, me and the boys going out is one of these. I mean they they cheaper than dirt you pick them up from the hardware store I think they're about 30 bucks or camping store or wherever you want um, they take these little gas cylinders now you know people rave about them that they're good bad to be honest I think they're they're borderline okay and if you're gonna do something more regular probably get yourself a portable unit that's takes actual gas I mean um, even though they're lightweight don't take up much room in the cold weather, these gas canisters are, are fairly useless. 
Uh, you've got to keep them in the swag with you to, uh, to keep them warm. Otherwise, you just literally cannot get any heat out of them. And for winter months, you've pretty much got to take one a day because you won't get the full uh, you won't get the full amount out. I mean, the jet boil, brilliant. If you if you're only taking backcountry meals or dehydrated or, or noodles, things like that, um, jet boil can't go wrong. Any time, day or night, hot, cold, you name it. Um, the wind doesn't affect it. The wind really blows these around if you're camping on the beach. So great for great for short trips or or first time but you'd really probably want to start looking at that and the saw I mean I carry a um, just a, a 12 volt saw it's something I don't like to carry a chainsaw if the chain gets blunt you spend an hour sharpening it this the blades snap in and out once you're done change it out good to go and again simple stuff that's all tucked up in there and uh, sort of last for for recovery gear and and getting out and about in the trucks an air compressor who doesn't go out with an air compressor flat tires air and up air and down depending on the terrain air compressor so those three crates just sit nicely up against the uh, the headboard and I'll just take a strap, strap them in on the factory provided toe, uh, toe points and that keeps everything secure, won't rattle around, bounce, you can, you can go nuts. So you can't beat a good chair while you're out camping. So for me, this is the um, Oz Trail RV RV Sport. Uh, it's about a mid price point chair. I find it to compete with the uh, the higher models. Adjustable lumbar, solid arms is something I really look for in a in a um, in a good chair. It folds up into uh, a nice carry bag, so good for the back of the ute. Doesn't get all dusty, and I really like it. I think. Next I'll throw in the fridge, can't stress enough, if you're going on trips longer than the weekend, two, three days, which is about the limit of, of what uh, ice will last, certainly consider getting yourself a fridge if you're a, a frequent camper. You know, they're not cheap, but they'll make your life so much better. It's For me it was a real game changer a couple of years ago when I got my first fridge and uh, I've had the ARB, this is a 65 litre ARB fridge. Keeps all the essentials, keeps everything cold. Now what I've done with my fridge is I've taken the, uh, the factory 12 volt SIG socket off and I've just replaced it with, a, um, with an Anderson. So that, easy as that. She just plugs straight onto the dual battery system and now that's going. Now that I've got the uh, 
the fridge in and that's starting to draw from the dual battery obviously that'll charge while the uh, while the vehicle is running but 200 watt solar blanket while I'm static if I'm not moving I can literally keep the car keep the car still for four days and that'll keep the beers cold so last but not least uh, just a few comfort items and sleeping items I take um, this bag I take just a few of these sand mats just throw them out now they're, they're good as long as it's dry if you get a bit of rain bit of water water will just come straight up through them but on the beach or anything like that you know I'd, I don't sort of mind them I take them with me anyway they're lightweight don't take up much room um, normally if I got the dog that that's the dog's bed while he's in the back anyway so that uh, that goes straight in I just take a, a swag that's got me mattress in there I've put a self-inflating mattress in that I find the ones that the sort of the eggshell ones that come with it aren't the best when you're spending longer and longer time in it they sort of sort of not feel like you're sleeping on the ground um, I keep a tarp with my swag so if the grounds reasonably good I won't pull out those ground mats I'll just throw a tarp down throw the swag straight on top and we're good to go And of course, change of undies. So there you go, that's me packed for a, uh, a four day trip. One last stop at the servo to get some fuel and we're good to go. Let me know in the comments below if, you'd, if I've forgotten anything or you'd take something different or your thoughts on anything that I've shown you there that I'm using. If there's something better you think that uh, might, go, might go better for me. And we'll see you in the next one. You.